Yeah, just starting now. Oh, yeah. It's small, small, small oh, channel. Small. Yeah. What's your name in the channel? Keith oh. Sanderson. Okay, yeah. I subscribe. Yeah, you'll see yourself for sure. Yeah. What's your name? Thanasis. Manas? Thanasis. Ah, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Okay. Welcome to Santorini. Enjoy the holiday. Yes. So, we're in Ia. We're at the northwest end of the caldera. What, should, uh, what kind of things are there to do up here? We are going to drinking. Yes. It's for the young people. Oh. <laughs> we are going to club. Dancing. No, no, no. Quiet, quiet. Yeah, the good best, food. The best place for quiet yeah. is the Oya. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so okay, dancing, good. Relaxing, very romantic. Good, good, good. So I picked the right place. Uh, I did Milos first, and now I'm I'm coming from Naxos now. So. Both very beautiful.
Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> it's a beautiful home. So, I'm here. This is Santorini. I'm in Ia, which is at the northwest edge, facing the caldera. It's obviously built up on some cliffs. Um, it's beautiful here. definitely more crowded than both Naxos and Milos. Kind of a shock, especially because the streets here are way smaller. I don't know, I've just been <laughs> isolated for so long it feels weird to be around people again. I just tried to go to uh, the bay, a moody bay, and almost killed myself falling down the steps. Learned the hard way that flip flops are not gonna do it. So I need to change and figure out a plan B. Second day, technically, in St. Torini. Woke up about seven. And it took me a while to muster the energy to get out of the house. I'm not, I don't know, maybe yesterday was an aberration, but I'm not super enthralled with this place so far. There's a hell of a lot of people. It's super expensive and it's everything I didn't want. It does look pretty. 
but there's everywhere else I've been. I don't know if you can hear me over the wind. I'm trying to make my way down to some beach, maybe going swimming will help, I don't know, we'll see. past a bunch of massive, disgusting smelling dump dumpsters. That's the problem with big tourist places. It's not just the people, it's all the infrastructure that has to go into it. All the garbage, all the trucks, all the fencing and cones and ugh. Anyway, this is the long walk to the beach. I still have about 15 minutes to go. Super cool. Interesting. Not exactly what I'm looking for in a beach. <laughs> right. Even in death isn't very relaxing, but it's cool. Shit. sound like a grump I really don't and I recognize the irony in being the most obvious fat American tourist to ever set foot here <laughs> complaining about tourists and crowded and whatever but I this isn't what I was looking for at all um, some people do some people will spend lots and lots of money and come to a place like this just to take pictures and say they were there and those kind of people need certain kinds of dinners and I don't know I just feel like not every tourist is created the same I haven't left a single cigarette butt or piece of garbage on any beach I've traveled in here in Greece for the past almost two weeks I walk more than any other person I see here everybody else is on quads and scooters and cars and they drive from one place to another I walked every my feet are like torn apart maybe I'll show a video here if I remember to cut it in here's my ugly feet right now I don't know it just seems like these islands are meant for something more than just like Greek Disney World that's my thought I just hit my head on this thing for like the 400th time. Doesn't hurt any less. So I went to the pharmacy and got what I hope is a legit COVID test. I am COVID free, yay. There were times here where I wouldn't have been surprised either way with how bad I felt. 
but I should be good to go for the plane ride home. And I booked another cruise because I could not think of what to do tomorrow and all the options were weird. There's a volcano out there. Can you see it? I don't know if you can. That's the volcano that at one point sort of built all of these islands in the first place and allowed life here to exist, but there were mixed reviews on going there and whether it was worth it. And ultimately a very nice German lady in an office down the street in Ia just convinced me to do a swimming tour. It's only five hours. I got to get up early tomorrow to do it, but I'm looking forward to it either way. Sunrise on my last full day in Greece. I have a boat in like an hour and 20 minutes. A tour boat, not a, not a ferry. I'm done with the ferries. I'm moving slow. That buzzing is a drone. It's almost nonstop here. You'd think every drone shot of Santorini had been recorded, but I guess not. before I came here. Really? In Nacho? Oh, yeah. Another island. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh, you're going to Nacho? How are you going to ride it? Yeah, sure. um, yeah. Where are you guys going?
Asked white t shirt. I'm packing up one last time. It is quarter to nine in the morning on my last day here in Santorini and my last day in Greece. Not even really my last day. This is just a travel day. I have to get a taxi to a plane, to a transfer, to another plane, to another transfer, to a plane back home, to a train, to a cab. So it's gonna be a very long day. I'm already exhausted. My feet hurt. I definitely do not have the energy right now for a big wrap up of what I learned kind of thing and I really I just want to get packed and maybe get a coffee and then maybe I'll do that all at some point. I don't know. This is Sans Reading. Goodbye. All this for me. I made it work this summer. I yeah <laughs> not crowded. Not out of my own way. What was Thank you very much. To respect my day to day. Lifted intuition. Antennas to the ground. And at the culmination of this heady contemplation. saying I have to go back out through security to transfer. And my flight's gonna be boarding in about 10 minutes, so I'm a little worried. What's the point if I can't use it? What's the point if